Right now, breaking news, Connecticut's recreational marijuana bill will make it over the finish line. Again, it already passed the House. Now the Senate has passed the bill. And Chief Political Reporter Susan Raff is live at our state capitol, just outside the Senate. And Susan, you just heard from lawmakers. What did they say? That's right. That's where we were a little late at the start. They had a press conference just after the vote. They weren't in the session very long, maybe about an hour. But keep in mind, this was the third time that the Senate took up this bill. The vote came down. It was clear that this was going to pass. And the Senate president just spoke minutes ago saying that this was the time for Connecticut. It is a bill that they have been debating for years here in the Senate and in the House. And the Senate president, Martin Looney, said that the people of Connecticut have spoken, that many polls show that people in Connecticut want recreational marijuana. And as you know, getting to this point has been very difficult. It did pass the House yesterday, but there were some last-minute amendments this week that threatened to kill the bill. Many were concerned and didn't think it was actually going to pass. A huge part of this legislation is equity. Keep in mind that you know, hundreds of millions of dollars will be generated every year from recreational marijuana, but a large portion of that will be given to those communities, distressed communities, communities that have been hard hit by the war on crime and drugs. A portion of the revenue will also go to recovery and addiction and some into the general fund. But again, equity was a big part of this, and the amendment that came out earlier this week that threatened to kill the bill would have allowed anyone with a marijuana conviction to get a license to sell marijuana, but that was stripped out of the bill. The governor had promised to veto this legislation. Now the governor is going to sign it with that amendment out. But this is really a very important moment for Connecticut. It now becomes one of 19 states in the country to legalize recreational marijuana. So the question many are asking going forward, July 1st, apparently it will be legal to smoke and own and possess marijuana. When will sales begin? That couldn't start or may not start for a year from this fall. But again, the Senate has spoken and now Connecticut has legalized recreational marijuana. Kara, back to you in the studio.